Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to yet another Blockbuster Tips video. In this episode, I'll show you in-depth configuration of emoticons morph. In this video I'll be using Blockbuster 1.6.6, and emoticon 0.4.3. Let's start with general options. Here you can set display name, different scales and checkbox to render items. These are self-explanatory. Display name allows you to set your custom morph name, which will display in the creative morph menu. Scale controls the scale of the morph in the world. GUI scale controls the scale of the morph within GUI preview. Item scale controls the scale of held items. And render items checkbox allows to disable rendering of items. Next panel is pose editor panel. Using the list on the left, you can pick the bone you want to pose, and on the bottom you can change bone's position, scale and rotation. Beside that, you can also control animations of individual bones or all of them. If animated pose is enabled, then all of the bones will have their animations, otherwise if disabled, all bones animations will be disabled. With fixate movement checkbox, you can disable movement for individual bones, just check it out. Here is a little tip what you can do with the pose editor and its options. Let's say you want to make your emoticons character sit, but also emote. Let's set up a sitting pose, so the morph would sit on the floor, and let's fixate every bone below stomach, so body and legs. Looks like it works correctly. Wait, I forgot to also disable the anchor bone, if something you don't want to move still moves, then you forgot to fixate movement on some of the bones. Next panel is actions configuration panel. Here you can remap specific animation states, let's say turn idling and walking animations into flying animations, or change the speed, negative value is also accessible for reverse effect. The most common use would be is changing the idle action to one of the emotes actions to make emoticons morphs dance in the model block. There wouldn't be additional effects, like particles, of course. And of course, Pose Editor can be used with custom action configuration. Honestly, other options aren't really as useful, they're more for fine tuning of animation. This looks pretty hilarious. Let's also remap walking, sprinting and idle action animations into swimming. One of the uses of speed is, for example, you scaled your morph, however, walking and running animations are too fast. So by reducing the speed of the sprinting action, you can make the sprinting cycle to appear more natural. The next panel allows you to manage meshes of the morph. Body mesh is the one we'll focus on, as other meshes are controlled by emoticons code. Color option allows to set color filtering of the mesh. In the next update, soon. You'll be able to pick the color with a picker, but at the moment it's in the hex format. Show normals option is basically removes the shading of the mesh. Visible option is self-explanatory. This could be used if you want to use body parts to make your character. Here is an example of the chicken lord, which is basically an emoticons morph made out of body parts, but the body mesh is not visible. Linear option allows you to kind of blur the skin. This could be used if you have a really HD skin, and you don't want it to look very crisp up close. Pick texture button allows you to pick the texture for the mesh. In this case it should be 64 by 64, 4 pixels wide arm skin. And finally lighting option allows to disable and enable mesh glow. And final panel is the body part panel, which allows you to add other morphs to emoticons morph. Make sure to check Etho's BB Tips video about body part system in the top right corner, which covers this feature in all details. You can use this feature, for example, to make your character hold some weapon like a gun, and run around with it or something. And finally, emoticons morphs also support animated poses. The topic is too lengthy to explain it in this video, so make sure to check out the video specially dedicated to it in the top right corner. 
that's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial was useful, and you'd be able to use emoticons morph to its full potential. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.